Hey guys, Slimber here, and today we're doing a video on the Young Turks. Now, I have a lot of issues with the Young Turks. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. Uh, so I guess mixed opinions on them. Uh, they can be hypocritical sometimes. We'll go into that maybe some other fucking video. But they brought this guy on for their little panel. And he makes the most random fucking arguments that are not relevant. Because they show this very batshit crazy ev televangelist on there. And I'm sure we, most of us can agree that televangelists are fucking scam artists. But anyways, let's get right into this, shall we? I'm going to make fun of him too. Rick Wiles is one of these televangelists who loves to fear monger about the end times. And lately, he's been fear mongering about meatless burgers. Take a look. When you go to your favorite fast food restaurant, you're going to be eating a fake hamburger. No, I'm not. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure their meat's already fake. But, you know. I mean, I, I don't know that for sure, but I'm pretty sure if I went to, like, McDonald's and ordered a hamburger, the meat's probably fake. You're going to go to the grocery store and buy a pound of fake hamburger or a fake steak, and you won't know that it was grown in some big corporation's laboratory. This is the nightmare world that they're taking us into. They're changing God's creation. Why? Because they want to be God. They want to do exactly what Lucifer did before the flood. It's why God destroyed it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there wasn't, like, veggie burgers but before um noah's ark well noah's ark never really you know happened um i'm not saying i'm an atheist i'm an agnostic but i do have a general sort of things of what i don't believe happened and noah's ark is one of those things that completely sounds like bullshit so you know i don't think um a giant flood went, went over the over the earth like that he said he regretted that he ever made mankind because they were destroying his creation. Well, your God's a fucking retard by leaving Noah a lie to procreate. The Bible says God is coming back to destroy those who are destroying the earth. So God is an environmentalist. He takes this very seriously. He created this planet. He created the universe. And he's watching these Luciferians destroy his planet, destroy the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom. So originally when I saw this video, I wasn't paying attention very well. And I thought he was saying, hey, let's stop all these you know, corporations that are causing climate change. And I was like, I'm with you, buddy. And I still kind of think that might be what he's saying. I don't know. But the the guy who's going off about nothing made even less sense than that. But he does make a little bit more sense. Sorry, not the guy who did nothing. That actually wasn't him. It was Jank Uger, the one that when he was speaking, it made less sense. And I rewinded and rewatched all that. But still, um, the guy who's about to come up, it, it, nothing he says makes sense because... Well, it makes sense, but it has nothing to do with any of this. John Fugel saying, are you a Luciferian? <laughs> oh, wow. Are you eating these meatless burgers, AKA demonic burgers? Um, well, no, because I'm, I'm doing keto now. But I have tried the Impossible <laughs> Burger, and it is as good a fake burger as this guy is a revoltingly fake Christian. Now, um, I like that he mentioned the flood, because let's never forget, God once decided to drown every pregnant woman and fetus on the same day because he felt like it. God's the least pro-life character in the book. Right here. Right here. What does this have to do with abortion? What the fuck does this have to do with abortion? This is like the most nothing argument I've ever heard. But that's another debate. Uh, oh, this is point. a uh, fascinating thing to do. You, you see, you, it's tough to be a right-wing evangelical fake Christian preacher because um, the Mueller report is a lot like the teachings of Christ. Once again, what the fuck? What the fuck? No, it's not. <laughs> it is nothing like the fucking teachings of Christ. The Mueller report 
It's about Trump basically fucking colluding with Russia, whether and deciding he's obstructed justice. What does that have to do with the teachings of Christ? If you read it, you can never support Donald Trump again. Okay, now I get it, but it's still a very, very strange comparison. Jank Uger in the background like, mm -hmm, very, very good point. Mm -hmm. And when you are this revoltingly fake, and again, there is, ask your Christian right-wing friends, name one teaching of Christ Trump or Pence campaigned on or have fought for legislatively. There are none. Jesus wasn't against abortion. So first off, <laughs> their belief about abortion isn't necessarily something that was just straight up said. Uh, their belief about abortion has something to do with the Ten Commandments, which is basically thou shall not kill. That's where their belief comes from about that. Now, we can have a debate all day long on whether it's true or not. I wouldn't say it's true. We shouldn't be basing our fucking laws off what a goddamn book tells us. But, nonetheless, they're, they, they don't believe it because of something that was just straight up said. They believe it because the, the uh, Ten Commandments, one of them says, thou shall not kill. That's where they get that belief from. So you got to come up with content. And when you are a righteous American who likes the old time way of living, like uh, factory farm beef clogging up your colon, this is obviously a great threat. This guy's job is to scare old, terrified white people who just learned how the internet worked. And I'm glad he's here for our entertainment. But um, again, this is why right wing Christianity is an atheism factory and it's like i always say trump's not the antichrist but christ is the anti-trump mm -hmm. and if these guys ever actually followed the quite liberal teachings of jesus we'd have single-payer health care tomorrow so now i generally agree with the point that conservative christians are the biggest fucking hypocrites on the planet however this guy is a fucking idiot i don't even know his goddamn name but please the Young Turks, do not ever <laughs> bring this guy back on a panel. He clearly has no idea on what he's talking about. So, it's kind of like saying, um, forcing your religion on somebody is bad. We all know that. I mean, I guess the conservative Christians don't. I, I mean, I guess they know it when they think Muslims are pushing it on them, but, you know, they don't generally um, care when they're pushing it on us. But, you know, anyways, please, please don't bring this guy back. <laughs> anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a fucking dislike if you want, leave a hate comment, and, uh, yeah, slimber out.